Gorgeous day everyone, it's Corentech Fanboy welcoming you to my first video. I have here a 2016 MacBook Pro with Touch Bar and I am going to be going over its top features. Let's jump right into it. Top feature number one, display. If you love bright displays as much as I do, you'll be happy to hear that this 2016 MacBook Pro has one of the brightest displays on the market. It's 67% brighter than the previous MacBook Pro with 500 nits of brightness. It has 67% higher contrast levels, so any bright scenes on the display look striking against the dark scenes. This display also introduces the P3 color gamut, which essentially means it can display up to 25% more colors with a much broader set of green and reds. Top feature number two, all new touch bar with touch ID. There is an all new touch bar where traditionally the function keys have resided on the top of the keyboard, flanked by the fingerprint scanner off to the right. You can think of the touch bar as a multi-purpose small touch screen for your MacBook Pro. It houses various functions that change in relation to what's on the display. For example, if you have a video playing in YouTube, you can scroll through the video with a simple swipe of your finger. If you are typing a document in pages, it will show you auto-predict words as you type along with access to emojis. I particularly like that Apple has added a fingerprint scanner to their all-new MacBook Pro. Although fingerprint scanners are nothing new, Apple themselves have had fingerprint scanners dating back to the days of the iPhone 5S. So it's nice to see that they are finally on board on their flagship MacBook Pro line. Isn't it so cool and stealthy to be able to unlock your computer with a simple tap with your thumb? And Apple has plans of expanding its functionality throughout the OS. Through updates, just how Apple expanded the fingerprint scanner on the iPhone to be able to be used in more places. Top feature number three, SSD performance. The SSD flash storage inside their new MacBook Pros is insanely fast. It's supposedly twice as fast, at least according to Apple, than the previous MacBook Pro. Why does that matter? Simply put, your entire Mac OS operating system is stored on your SSD. Anything that you download is stored on your SSD. And having an SSD that's that insanely fast means anytime you open something or upload something to your flash storage, it happens blindingly fast and more importantly, lag free. Top feature number four, top firing speakers. The speakers inside the all new MacBook Pro are wonderful. They are much louder than before with much more bass and clarity. If you are an audiophile, you will love these upgraded top firing speakers. Here is some sample music so you can listen for yourself. Top feature number five, all new thin, compact, and lightweight design. It's true that this new MacBook Pro had to sacrifice ports to accommodate this all new thinner and lightweight design, but from a portability standpoint, it has been worth it. Its footprint significant reduction has enhanced its ability to be able to be more easily slotted in carrying bags such as backpacks. This 13 inch model that I have here is also now about as lightweight as a now discontinued MacBook Air. Top feature number six, larger force touch trackpad. The trackpad inside the new MacBook Pro is giant. On one hand, that's beneficial because it allows the ability to scroll the mouse from one end of the screen to the other without having to lift off the trackpad. On the other hand, it also means 
that your palms sometimes inadvertently touch the trackpad as you type. But eventually you'll get used to it by adjusting your typing style accordingly. The trackpad, as you are already probably aware, features force touch. Think of force touch on the trackpad as a feature similar to 3D touch on the newer iPhones. For example, when you force touch on a word in Safari or anywhere in Mac OS, you are immediately revealed with, with extra options such as being able to look up the word's definition. The major difference between the two is haptic feedback. When you 3D touch an iPhone display, there is no haptic feedback. When you force touch the trackpad, there is haptic feedback. One interesting tangent, there are some people who don't understand why Apple does not include a touch screen on their MacBook line. Honestly, I think that the force touch trackpad does a way superior job of handling all the inputs for the Mac operating system than a touch screen can. On other touch screen computers like Windows, there is no force touch. So think about it, if there was force touch, when you would apply extra pressure on this touch screen, the laptop would slide. And also any multi-touch gestures or anything else that you can do on the touch screen, the trackpad replicates with higher levels of refinement and precision. Notwithstanding the fact that you'll save time not having to wipe smudges and fingerprints off of the display. Top feature number seven, Mac OS. Even though the name of Apple's operating system changed from OS X to Mac OS, the qualities of Mac OS are as great as ever. Let's start with optimization. All pre-installed apps, as well as apps that you can download from the Mac App Store, are all designed to take maximum advantage of the MacBook hardware. What does this mean? Whereas on other operating systems such as Windows, the app ecosystem is disjointed and not always suited to take maximum advantage of the hardware, the Mac OS app ecosystem is designed around the hardware. A perfect example for anyone who does video editing knows how well optimized Final Cut Pro is on the Mac compared to Adobe Premiere on any operating system such as Windows. Sometimes more powerful newer window computers running Adobe Premiere end up taking 50% longer to export the same footage than Final Cut Pro on Mac. It's because of optimization. Next, let's talk about software updates. It's laughable how rare major software updates are on Windows. Most likely you'll end up with just the main version of Windows that your computer came with or have to pay for major software updates on Windows. Whereas when you buy a Mac, especially a MacBook as powerful as this 2016 MacBook Pro, according to Apple's track record, you will most likely receive free software updates for the next five years. So you can rest easy for half a decade that your MacBook is not obsolete and is fully up to date with the latest major software release. And finally, there are other features such as Siri integration and the ability to unlock your Apple computer with the Apple Watch. This wraps up my first video on this channel. Be sure to leave me feedback on my email, carintechfanboy at gmail.com, included in the description below. If you enjoyed and loved this video, be sure to let me know by hitting the thumbs up like button. And if you found this video going to be helpful, be sure to share it on your favorite social media. And don't forget to subscribe for more top tech videos like this. Thanks for watching. Have a fantabulous day. Bye.